I had this idea to make this random storage niche above my fridge a whole lot prettier. And what I thought was a simple idea was not so simple. <laughs> the day started out full of hope and possibility. I'm on my way to my first artist date of this process for the artist way. I'm going to write, going to color. Then I'm gonna be doing some other fun projects later, which I haven't done in, <sighs> it's been ages, it feels like. So I am excited for that and let's get into it. where things started to take a turn. So, I mismeasured <laughs> on how much room I have in my own car. I'm stressed, I haven't done this since I started my sofa project and I forgot that there are no rear view mirrors. There's just, how do you see it? Just these. I tell you Jesus had to take the wheel and the wheel of everybody else on the road <laughs> I couldn't see half the time I was moving lanes apparently I gotta like kind of lean and it's like two different views and the top view is like really not clear and at night I don't know why I did this at night first of all I can barely drive my, my own car at night but anyways, I gotta get this stuff in here before my time run out and then they charge me more money. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel! I am not even being dramatic. I, it is God's grace that I made it back here safely without hurting anyone. Like, when I tell you I cannot see out these weird mirrors, like, I promise you, I'm putting my signal on, I'm like, giving y'all plenty of time, because I don't know if you, how, I could, the depth of field, is that, depth perception, no, non-existent, and I'm just like, God just had to move them out the way, because... all that for something that <laughs> might not even work this project we're gonna see now that i finally got the wood safely into my apartment after all the fails it's time to cut it down so that it perfectly fits in my niche i put it up with this curtain rod and marked where i needed to trim it just a little bit I went in with my handsaw to trim off the excess because I'm still terrified of the table saw. Now if you thought the fails were over, I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> this was my first time painting again and I was really frustrated with myself because I wanted to be as good as I was when I was painting all the time and I was being kind of hard on myself but 
it was kind of fun to just explore with color and just play. I didn't really like how that looked directly on the wood, so I ended up covering it with artist canvas. Now, I have a better approach than what I did because the canvas is going to shrink a little bit on the sides because I'm only stapling each in like this. Ironically, I did all of this because I did not want to build my own frame. In hindsight, that would have been the easiest thing to do. I wouldn't have had to rent a U-Haul. It wouldn't have been as heavy and difficult to get up there. <laughs> I did mine the hard way so you don't have to. The easiest way for you to recreate this would be to build your own frame cover it with your canvas and then screw the screw eyes into the top of the canvas and then link your curtain clips into that. I did a mix of acrylic paint as well as the paint you would get from Home Depot for your walls. I tried to follow this tutorial for this gradient blend, but I didn't have enough brushes to do it the way they did. So I was kind of struggling and I just constantly wet the brush and blended the colors and went over and over and over again, as you can see. And I would love to be able to tell you that this was like relaxing and therapeutic, but it was kind of stressful because I really wanted it to work out this time because as you can see, I've been failing through this project almost all year long, but I'm really happy with how it came out and I just had to be patient and kind of work through adding in the pinks, adding in a little bit of yellow and just trying to create that flawless gradient with some imperfections because I didn't have the right brushes to um, go over it with a dry brush to really blend it out. And you have to work really quickly if you're going to do this. I think it would be a little easier on a smaller scale canvas, but it worked out in the end and I finally have a finished piece, a finished DIY 10 months later. <laughs> backwards but this side the wood actually oh <laughs> crumpled so I need to fix this it wouldn't be on brand if there wasn't a massive fail even though this one started with a massive fail so we're just really sticking to the plot nothing new here <laughs> more of the same <laughs> After even more trial and error, <laughs> I found that the best way to do this is to link your rings while you're on the ground, lift the canvas up into place, kind of rest it at the bottom of that niche, then slide your curtain rod in and lift it up into place. And you'll, depending on your curtain rod, you'll screw it so that it's nice and tight. And that way, whenever you're lifting this later on to get anything you're storing out of there, it'll be easy to do so and it'll be nice and secure. see I like to make projects that could be so simple as difficult as humanly possible <laughs> you know I can be so hard on myself and I'm doing so many things my brain is going in a million different directions all at once when you rush it can create more problems more setbacks that can be just as discouraging as like getting stuck in your head the other thing that's been keeping me stuck as I reflect back on this year is I really had a lot of anxiety on what God was calling me to do with my creative gifts and he was calling me to write which really freaked me out at first because I'm like that's nothing that has nothing to do with what I've been doing <laughs> and I really took a break this year to focus on that and give out my all and recently he's been telling me like I want to use all of your creative gifts and he's been showing me how they all work together how I can honor him with this channel that I've started and the projects I am working on. He's even showing me how to honor him with things I've already done and new ways I can share what he's been teaching me. And that has been really sweet because I spent so much time kind of spinning in place, trying to figure out like, how do I pivot? Not fully wanting to let go of this channel. And now he's really just giving me that freedom of like, open the floodgates like share as I'm calling you to share and that has been really freeing and I'm 
really hope that encourages somebody. If you're, you know, God's calling you to do something that scares you to really trust him and trust that his plan is so much better than ours. And yeah, I, this project took so long, something that could have been a weekend. <laughs> ended up taking 10 months so if you have something you've been working on like that and you're discouraged just know that like that's a normal part of the process sometimes you hope that it can be a lot quicker and you get to that result faster but sometimes the scenic route a longer journey can be just as sweet if you're learning something really beautiful in the process so I am so excited to keep sharing more consistently, letting go of perfectionism, like I'm sitting here with like unfinished things behind me. And that's something I would have never imagined. Like the living room needs to be done and perfect before I can. And that keeps us stuck. So I'm learning as I go and I'm gonna keep sharing what God's teaching me on this journey as I'm creating to honor him with all the gifts he's blessed me with. See you next time.